a new government home buyer fund that can help get you into that home. But there's just one little catch. Let's have a look. Hello everyone, Florian Heiser here and welcome to another episode of Heiser Says. Grab your stein of coffee, we're going to have a look at what's happening in Victoria with an exciting new home buyer fund where you can, you know, help, get help from the government to get into that house real early. Oh boy, this, uh, this is an interesting one, guys. We're going to jump straight in and have a look at this media announcement. This is from the State Revenue Office of Victoria. Now, is this uh, Mortgage Keeper? Is this the Mortgage Keeper joke that I've been making for some time? It feels like it in some regards that that's inevitable with just the amount of money and stimulus and support that the government is chucking at the housing sector. And this isn't just one side of parliament, guys. This is a Labour authoritarian state here in Victoria socialising a lot of the home buying. Because the big trick here is they're going to own a portion of your house. The government will buy it, help you get in, but they'll have a, a they'll own a slice of it. You're going, you're getting into bed with government to buy a home. Wow, I wonder when they'll put conditions on your ability to use the home. Sorry, you, you don't. You know, the bank owns seventy percent. We own thirty percent. You only own five percent, or we own twenty five percent. You only own five percent. You have to do what we say. It's government housing. Oh, I'm sure that had never happened. No, you're being crazy, Florian. So the Victorian Home Buyer Fund announced. The Victorian government today announced a, a couple days ago, half a billion dollars, five hundred million Victorian Home Buyer Fund to support more than 3,000 aspiring homeowners to purchase a residential property in eligible Victorian locations. And see, this is all to keep the property bubble going, to keep, you know, we can't have it faltering. The Home Buyer Fund is a shared equity scheme in which the government makes a financial contribution to the purchase price in exchange for a proportional interest or share in the property. So the government will own a part of your property. So Victorian government is going to get money from the stamp duty, from all, from the GST, from everything that goes into buying the property, building the property. And now they claim they're, you know, they're taxing you to the hilt, the federal government. And now they're going to give you this money back. And you need to be thankful. You need to be groveling on your feet to say, thank you, oh, oh Dan. Thank you for, for bestowing this gift upon me. And they'll own a chunk of your property. Oh, boy. I'm, is this the slow progression? Is this how we move to a socialist state? Bit by bit, where everything, you know, soon it'll be government will own 80% of your property. What can you see? Because remember, the government gets all their money from us. The State Revenue Office will administer the scheme and work with participating lenders to support people who wish to inquire or participate in the scheme. Eligible home buyers can start with a 5% deposit and receive a contribution of up to 25% towards the purchase price of their property. Eligible Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander home buyers can receive support for a 3.5% deposit and receive a contribution of up to 35%. Some eligibility criteria requires that participants must be an Australian citizen or permanent resident, be at least 18 years of age, have saved the required minimum deposit and earn $125,000 or less per annum for individuals or $200,000 or less per annum for joint applicants and intend to live in the property as a principal place of residence. And We can go to the web page to find out some more and we will. Let's jump here and have a look at this in detail. Because, but before we do that, I just want to bring up, where is it? We'll bring up here some of the other, well, methods that the government have, have been doing to juice the housing market. The RBA, well, the cash rate is nothing at the moment. Some people are fearful that it'll shoot up. Some people are concerned that the, well, they're crying crocodile tears, that the intervention by APRA into lending requirements is going to make a big difference. I, I seriously doubt it, honestly. It just means that the buffers that people will have to have will increase, so they won't be able to borrow quite as much. You know, home builder, 
We saw how much that's juiced up the construction sector. The first home buyer grants, up to 88 grand in WA when you combined all the deals that they got. You have the 5% and 2% government loans. So there you go. You know, this home builder, and that's federal, home builder in Victoria isn't, oh, sorry, the home buyer in Victoria isn't quite as good as those 2% loans for, well, for single parents. You'd almost be smarter being a single parent in Victoria, getting the 2% federal government, and the government doesn't have a stake in your house. You've had negative gearing. That's a long-term systematic uh, issue now. It's a cultural phenomenon now. People use it to minim- minimize their tax because we have to pay so much bloody tax. Don't blame anyone for doing it. You've got the super withdrawals and guaranteed a lot of people use that to jump into housing. So let's, with that in mind, you know, with how they've juiced up the market, let's have a look at this here, the home buyer fund. You may be eligible to receive a contribution of 25% of the purchase of your home. Yep. The Aboriginals get a bit more. So financial contribution. You need to have a 5% minimum deposit. 25% comes from the state of Victoria and 70% from the chosen lender. So there you go. There's eligible locations. 125 grand or less. It has to be, you have to live in the property. So ongoing, ongoing obligations. You need to complete annual reviews. You need building insurance and you need to maintain your property. So who is eligible? So an Australian citizen or permanent resident have saved the required deposit at least 5%, earn 120 to 200, yep, occupy the property, not purchase your property for a vendor who is a related person, oh, from a vendor, be a natural person that can't go to a company, not own an interest in any land at any time, at the time of purchase, okay. Not be acting as trustee of a trust, not be a shareholder of any corporation other than a public company that owns any land. Okay, so you can't have any land. This is, this is only for the people that, that really can't get in. Eligible participants for the home buyer fund need to meet all of the above requirements. And where can you get it? So you can go Brackers Marsh, Ballarat, Bainsdale, Bendigo, Castle Maine. So here you go. What about this? Where's Coldstream or Lilydale? Where's Lilydale? Is that even here? Shepparton. Swan Hill, Trafalgar, Trafalgar, okay. Uh, what about Box Hill? Oh, no Box Hill. Hmm, there you go. The property must be a standard residential property, such as a house, townhouse unit, or apartment. Vacant land is not eligible, okay. The maximum purchase price must be 950000 or less in metropolitan Melbourne and Geelong, or 600000 or less in other eligible regional locations. The purchase can be for an existing or new property, provided that the certificate of occupancy has been issued prior to the date of the contract of sale. So you need to have an annual review. Each year following the purchase of your home, you'll be required to complete an annual review and provide supporting information to ensure you have maintained your eligibility for the home buyer fund. So what what happens if you're no longer eligible? Uh, This may include providing a certificate of currency, of insurance, and other details such as pay slips, tax returns, home loan statements, and utility bills. You're also required to, no- required to notify us within 10 business days if your circumstances change at any point in time. Yeah, but what happens then? Do they kick you out of the house? If they own more, if you go broke and can't pay the mortgage, you know, is the government going to step in and pay it? Or are they going to re- you know, get more of it? Or are they going to force you out of your home? This is a nightmare. The property must always be insured and you're required to provide a certificate of currency. You've got to maintain the property. You must seek approval before making any modifications or renovations of more than ten grand, or those in that, or those that involve structural changes or require authorization such as council approval. There you go. So it's not your property; it's the government's property. You own a portion of it. You need their permission to make a change to your house. Welcome, welcome to Socialist Victoria, comrade. Hey, if you're lucky, they may even let you out of the government house. You also must seek approval to refinance your property, sell your property, or make voluntary payments that result in you exiting the home buyer fund within the first two years. You must make repayments on time, such as council rates, utility. Yep, you're required to start repaying the home buyer fund's interest on your property when... What do you mean? Your gross annual income exceeds the applicable threshold... Uh, you receive a windfall gain such as inheritance or lotto win of 10 grand or more. What do, what do you mean? They don't need to pay the interest anyway? Or do they have to pay it back? Ah, okay. 
You can make voluntary extra payments to start repaying the home buyer fund's share provided. Each repayment reduces the home buyer fund's share of your property by at least five percentage points from 20 to 25 and is at least $10,000. Ah, I don't like that. I do not like that at all. I prefer the micro ability to pay anything off. You need to seek and gain approval from the home buyer fund team to pay the full amount back in the first two years or reduce the state's equity below five percentage points, i.e. from 25 to 4% in the first two years. If your property is sold, the money is distributed to the following entities in this order. The bank, the home buyer fund, and anyone else, and then you. So you're fourth in the list. Government comes before you. And then we got how to apply. So, I mean, there you go, guys. There you go. What do you reckon? What do you, let, let's have a talk about this one, eh? I mean, this, this, is, this feels like public housing, state public housing, where you're taking on a whole lot of liability, responsibility, and you still need to get permission from the government to do anything. It's just nuts. It's just nuts. <laughs> I mean, if, if, if it's going to happen anywhere, and all of this, go, this just goes to prop up the housing market, everyone. I hope people who go into this arrangement don't get burned. I really hope they don't, because you're going to get people who are right at the edge. And then if they get pushed into financial, financial trouble, I can't see the, you know, what is it, the state revenue office being all that nice. They want their coin back. Remember, they tax this money out of you and then they give it back to you with a controlling share of your house. Brilliant. What do you think? Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you're a fan and enjoy the content I create here, there are a few ways you can help out. You can follow us on Twitch or on our YouTube live channel. You can join us here on YouTube or on Patreon. Sign up using Self Wealth or Stake. Use our affiliate links at Amazon, eBay, Independent Reserve, or Aussie Broadband. You can buy a merch from Heiser Says. Use Gold Pass from the Perth Mint or support us via PayPal. Take care. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.